Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to start talking about a technique for solving indefinite integrals called U substitution. Here's the big idea. Remember the chain rule, which lets us find derivatives of compositions of functions? If y equals f of g of x, then y prime equals f prime of g of x times g prime of x. Well, suppose we need to reverse the chain rule. So the idea is if we start with the integral of f prime of g of x times g prime of x dx, then that would equal f of g of x plus c, the antiderivative. Now the way that we're going to solve the integral of f prime of g of x times g prime of x dx is with u substitution. We're going to let the variable u equal the g of x function. Then we'll also let the variable du equal g prime of x dx, and we'll make that substitution. This gives us the integral of f prime of u du, and the antiderivative of f prime of u is just f of the u function plus c. But since u equals g of x, that means the antiderivative is f of g of x plus c. And this brings us to u substitution method one. We're going to identify the g of x function and g prime of x. Then we'll let u equal g of x and du equal g prime of x dx. This will let us transform the integral of f prime of g of x times g prime of x dx into f prime of u du. And note that you may need to multiply or divide the integral by a constant to get g prime of x. We'll see an example of this in a second. Example one, suppose we want to find the integral of cosine of four x times four dx. In order to use u substitution, this integral needs to be in the form f prime of g of x times g prime of x dx. Here we can see that we have an inner function, 4x. So let's let this be the g of x. Then we can let the f prime be cosine. And the derivative of 4x is just 4, which we have here in the integral. So g prime of x dx is 4 dx. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let u equal 4x and du equal g prime of x dx, which is 4 dx. And so now we have the integral of cosine u du. If we integrate this and find the antiderivative, we'll get sine u plus c. But u equals 4x, so we can substitute that back in and we get our final antiderivative, sine 4x plus c. And that's the solution. Now a quick way to check to see if you've done this right is to take the derivative of the solution and see if you get the integrand. The derivative of sine 4x plus c is cosine 4x times four. So this confirms that we've found the correct solution to the integral. Okay, let's look at another example. Suppose we wanna find the integral of cosine 4x times eight dx. Again, we need to get this into the form of f prime of g of x times g prime of x dx. Just like the previous example, we can let g of x be 4x. But if that's the case, g prime of x is not eight. We know that g prime of x would be four. So what we need to do is divide the eight by two. But if we divide the eight by two, we also need to multiply the entire integral by two to balance the equation. So now we have u equals 4x and du equals 4dx. Let's make those substitutions. But remember, in this case, we need to multiply the entire integral by two. This gives us two times the integral of cosine u du. And if we find the antiderivative, we get two sine u plus c. But remember, u is 4x. So our final answer is two sine 4x plus c. Let's check the solution. If we take the derivative of two sine 4x plus c, we get eight cosine 4x. And that's the original function that we were trying to integrate. In the next video, we'll look at some additional examples of problems that involve u substitution. And we'll look at another way that we can apply u substitution to solve indefinite integrals. Stay tuned. And that's how you rock calculus.